So I'm going to use this sticker to ask a girl out. I'm gonna write my number in the back and write text me and drop it off on her car. I'll let you know if she texts me back, I guess. But that's pretty cool. If you want a girl to text you and you don't want to come off as a creep, please be a little bit creative. Just a little bit, it matters. At least I hope it matters, because otherwise, if she doesn't text, then it wouldn't. bitches won't be bitches. So there it is, my sticker with my number on it. Let's go drop it off to her car. Here it goes, just right there. Uh huh. Let's see what happens. I'm actually, just gonna sit here and watch. I probably won't be able to because. Well, I don't know. I don't know if she'll see the sticker. It's at a bad angle. I can't put it in her window because, you know, it might slide through the door. My best option was to put it underneath the windshield wiper, but. I don't know if she'll be able to see it. But that's all it takes, a risk. Who gives a shit? Do something funny uh, and entertaining. But I'm gonna go off to the laundromat because I got some laundry to do. I'll let you know if I get a text or not, who knows. I should tell you that little Miss White girl that's driving the Jeep uh, was wearing sandals while she was driving. I'm pretty sure against the law because you're supposed to have some sort of um, support for your foot whenever you set it on pedals, whatever. I heard the law, I think it's a real thing. But I used that to make conversation with her and I said, hey, how do you ride with those? And she said, <laughs> that's all she said. Literally, that's all she said. Started laughing, walked away. Fuck the way. <laughs> She's cute. I'll give you that, she was cute. Like, I probably can't show you her, but maybe just the body. That's all that really matters. Not really, but I mean, come on, let's be serious. When you're bent over on your hands and knees, it's not, it's not your face I'm looking at, it's, it's, it's your body. It really comes out of a warm place because if your face, you know, your face matters. But if you got your body working for you. <sighs> anyway, I don't think the skill's coming up. My motorcycle's in the body shop. I haven't been riding in three days. I gotta take it out somehow, you know, the want of riding. I'll just put my helmet on. I really miss my bike. I'm about to cry. I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, I really am missing my bike a lot. I'm waiting for a check to be sent out for the bike. I was told it's gonna cost $3,000. Not out of my pocket though. <laughs> but I'm walking, man. For somebody who got cut off, flipped in the air, landed on his ass and legs, I think I, think I walked away pretty good. I'm blessed to say I'm lucky enough that I walked away from the accident. It was scary, man. I was shaking the entire time. Oh, there they are. I was looking for these motherfuckers the entire time. Anyway. <laughs> like, it takes a mental and a physical toll on you with a crash like that. Couldn't have survived it. And, but I did. And I'm blessed. Like I said, I'm lucky. Thankful. Whoever's watching me up there was like, Nah, you're not dying. Yeah. Anyway. Until furthermore. So, <laughs> I'm trying to let the balloons float. So I'm trying to add some weight to it. However, the weight is a little bit, a little bit off. So I've been trying to crumble up the pieces of the napkin to match it as perfect weight for it to float in the air. Ready? I'm just like peeling tiny pieces off and hoping that it'll just float in the air. Oh my god, I'm so close. I can feel it. Like... Just make up some over there. Okay. There's one piece. Oh my god. So close. Ah, it's still going down. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, almost there.
What? Almost there. <laughs> I look like the uh, <laughs> guys. Here we have it. No, it's still going down. Like he does that, and then. Just a little bit more. <laughs> I swear this is worth it. Yes, stupid, stupid genius. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Float. Look, no hands, Ma. Are you proud? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. no, oh no, not quite. <laughs> Cam, this is gonna be a little bit more. That's all I needed. It's just. Uh, Mission not, accomplished. Not yet, kind though. of. It's just gotta stay. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. A floating 23. A floating 23. Look, you can see me in there. You guys remember when I left my number on the windshield of that girl's car behind a sticker that I wrote? Well, anyway, she wrote me back. She said, hey, that happened. I watch these speeches and I just wonder what's my speech going to be like when I'm up there, you know? But enough about me, of course. Congratulations to Maharshala Ali for winning the Actors Guild Award. I've been growing out my man bun. And I really wanted to share that with you guys. I should call it a man sprout, uh, kind of like what my friends like to call it a man sprout. Let me show you. I guess. Don't mind any attention to my room. There you are. I finally found the perfect spot. It took me forever to figure it out. Who? There you are. Heck yeah! Look at that. Right in there. This is where you are. We're good? I think we're good. All right. Where's my hat? Oh no, I don't need a hat. Lighting is of most importance. As an actor, I should know. I want to show you guys what I look like with a man sprout. Because it's not a full bun, as you can say. And... Nope, hold on, one more time. Take two. It's so tiny, I can't even... Uh, Alright, I got it. Boom. Boom. There it is. Now, personally, I've never done this, but... I don't know. I thought I might rock the look. It looks like a... Paintbrush! Don't it? I'm just gonna... This is why I have hats. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. So, as I was saying, my man Sprout is going to grow into be a tall man bun. Ever notice that girls um, have rubber bands tied around their wrists? Well, I didn't notice this until I had to, you know, ban up. <laughs> but anyway, I noticed that a lot of them have it on their, uh, on their wrists. But... I thought that I and I thought I could join the cool crowd because I seen some guys have it on their wrists as well. But anyway, I thought I could join the cool crowd and put these little stupid rubber bands around my wrist. It's too tight, <laughs> and because of its tightness, it you know hurts, stops my blood. Look at that. Look at how tight that is. Anyway, I made the mistake of putting two on, thinking I was cool and sleeping with him and the next morning I got up with a purple ring around my wrist it wasn't cool, it wasn't fun but in case you were wondering that's what you don't do anyway guys I gotta practice for some scripts for my reel that's coming up I'm really excited for it I will let you know when uh, it's put together I will definitely share it as I wish you share my videos and subscribe below. Please, thank you so much.